Mm. Uh -oh. Namaste. My name is Tony Gates and I'm with Greenfield Naturals Foundation. I do the quality analysis, uh, studying the energy levels of the water, plant, soil, human beings. This is the, the camera that I use. It's a GDV camera or gaseous discharge video camera that, that reads the energy levels. This camera is used in Europe in all the emergency rooms to help doctors uh, look at issues in the body where they can look at high entropy levels and stuff and see problems, see problems that maybe you're that haven't even come to you yet. You know, they can see in the future what things are coming up with this and stuff. Um, it can tell them. You know, when you're having thyroid problems, if you're having problems down here, they can read and see maybe it's coming from a thyroid and, and it'll actually pinpoint where the real issue is. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a quick study on some water. I've already done a couple samples. Uh, I did one unstructured water, which I got from my neighbor's house because my house is structured everything in my house structured so I need a good baseline. So I went to my neighbor's house next door and got this water. I've already studied that. Then I poured it through the structure device and I studied it again. And now I'm going to do it one more time. Um, I'm going to use this portable structure device and over here, I have prepared three rocks. These rocks are carnalite. It's what we're using in the bee uh, for to save the bees. And I'm going to wrap this right here around this, just like this. Now you can see I have one taped at three points around here and uh, like I said I've already got two I've already done baseline water and then I've done one structure through here without the rocks now I'm going to do it again structure through here this time with the rocks attached and this is how we will do this A syringe just like a regular doctor syringe set uh, this has a metal rod running in it and a grounding device can attach to it pull up the water and I'm gonna get the bubbles out of it put it in the sleeve just like this then as you can see I can push down and make a drop of water hang or suspend from the bottom of this the rest of this is here to create a dark field and I'm going to attach that ground wire right here so, put this on the camera, again to create more of a dark field, we want no light going in there except the only light we're going to see is what's coming from this drop of water, which I want to suspend right there in the camera. Now I'm going to swim my computer and put it here so you can see the video. And well, I'm going to do this, I'll bring it in closer, and I'm going to make a video of that drop of water, hopefully 
that'll work. There you can see it studying the water. It's looking at the energy levels of that drop of water. Okay. And now that's complete. I'll bring it right back here again. Oops. Sorry about this. It's hard to be a cameraman and be by yourself. Okay. one and sample three will be the one we just did which is the carnalite okay now I have three samples of water right here <coughs> now I'm going to process these three samples now you can see that's the sci lab is processing that It's going to look at those samples. It's going to read frame by frame the energy levels of that water. And then uh, it's going to compare them across the board. Uh, those were Each video I took of the drop of water is 15 seconds long. I did one of a baseline, like I said, of my neighbor's water, unstructured. Then I structured that water through the structure device. Then um, I restructured again, except this time I added the I added the three rocks of carnalite to it. So this is how how I've done this. And the Scilab is pretty complicated software. The software, the Corellian technology has been around since the early '60s. Uh, however, Konstantin Karaktov out of Russia, he's the one that actually developed the software uh, into data, we put it numbers to it so that we could actually see these energy levels and get more of an understanding of what we're seeing. Okay, now we have a graph up here. I'm going to go ahead and click through. Uh, hopefully I can talk loud enough and you all hear me as I do this. Okay, here on my chart, the red line is sample 
one. Sample two being structured is right here in the green line. And sample three with the carnelite stones we're going to see is right here on this blue line. Now you notice the blue line's a little bit lower than the other. That's the one with the rocks attached. And we tend to find that that is a, with the rocks attached, that we have a more level number here. Uh, obviously, structured water has a, some more minerals and stuff in it um, that the carnelite has removed. And that's why we're actually seeing carnelite in a little bit of a lower level. But it's obviously much higher than our uh, baseline, which is right here. And our baseline's here. That's the carnelite. And then the one up here is just plain structured. So we see there's a lot more energy here in structured water and, of course, structured water with the carnelite attached. Um, the carnalite's been very effective in the Saving the Bees project, so uh, it does have a higher value than regular structure, than regular water unstructured. Um, now we're going to look at these in trends, change it around a little bit. I like trends because it shows me straight graphs. I'm going to come over here to Entropy. Um, oh, that's my ice line. Intensity. Anyway, so here we have this red line is our unstructured. This green one is structured. And this one has the carnelite attachment. So we can, we can now see the difference in the water. We can see the energy levels. And... Um, Next thing I could do is, uh, I think I could show you a picture. Hold on. Well, this is uh, another type of graph where we see unstructured, structured, and then carnaline. It's just a different kind of graph. where we get the statistical report, which there's a lot of data in here. <laughs> and I want to save this data. That's the way we test it. This is also used in different ways uh, where we can test fingers, uh, we can test uh, humans, we can test plants, soil, looking at the energy of these things. Um, 
and we can come up and get some great data out of there and that anyway this is a basic of how it's done there actually is a little bit more to it but it would make this video very long so I was just trying to keep it short and sweet and uh, all I can say is thank you for watching and I hope I was able to help y'all understand a little bit of how um, the study goes, how we actually look at the water and, and actually suspend a drop over a camera lens to look at that energy level of the water. And uh, maybe what I'll do is one more time, I'm going to zoom back in on that TV screen and try and show you uh, another video of the water. Um, actually actually I want to show you the energy of that rock this is what we'll do so the way I'll do this is grab a filter asked to make a quick video of one of those rocks just to show you what the energy is what I've just done is I've I just put a piece of plastic here on the lens to help protect it rocks this is carnalite what we're using on the bees and I'm gonna make a 30 second video of what this looks like the energy that is coming off of this little rock so all the other light ain't gonna get in there. I'm gonna put that on there. Now let me pull it up on the camera. Start to capture. 
Real quick, I'm gonna move the camera in so you can see the capture. See what's going on on the video screen. Here we go. This little black area is showing the screen. And if I pull the cover off, you'll see there's light there. Now, this is just a camera. In fact, if I, oops, if I take this all apart, you can actually see my face there in the camera. You see my fingers over it. Put the screen back on. Put the rock in there. Reattach these items. This thing just locks it on. as I can. You see there's no light coming in. And to even aid that, I'm going to turn this light off to help keep it blocked. Now, let's start the camera. And there it is. What you're seeing there is the energy coming off that rock. You can see it. And in just a second, as soon as it's done filming it, I'll actually blow it up, make it a bigger picture. So you can see it here with the camera. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to come out of the video. Let's see if I can force it to go a little quicker. Looks like that one was a success. So let's see. Open this up, make it bigger. And play that video. Zoom in on it. So you can see. There is a lot of energy going on there in that rock. <laughs> Unbelievable energy. The blue things you see going on in there is, uh, it's trying to show some different stuff. Uh, let's see, let's put this in the blue palette.
that's what it looks like in the blue energy palette form. Everything you see in blue emanating off that rock, that's all that energy. Um, the original way I just showed it to you was in the original. Now I'll look at it one more way. I'll show you in, the, in the, an energy format. this the energy palette and now we're seeing the blues and the red this is just the energy off of the rock we're not really seeing the rock just the energy that's coming off of it and I can I could take these rocks and do studies of them individually uh, to show which one might be more powerful than another but really they're not they're all the same it's just the energy of that carnalite there's just a lot of energy there anyway and that's it um, this camera back and that's it now now you know how I do the studies when I I could study, like I said, rocks, people, plants, soil, um, and put it all on data and I can have it printed up and sent to you. I can study your water or plants or whatever. You can send samples to me and I can do studies right here in the comfort of my home and and give you lots of valuable data to go with uh, your new structuring devices and I hope uh, I hope this was understandable and sorry I'm not the best video guy in the world but now you know the basics and may you all be blessed and have a good day thank you